Hi, I'm Sean with Nielsen Enterprise Service Department, service advisor here. A uh, question comes up often, how do I know I need new tires? They're not always going to be as obvious as this one, where you've completely lost all your tread. Uh, that one's pretty dangerous to ride on, should really never have gotten to that point. This one, it's junk. Uh, one of the most common things that people think about when they think about their tires wearing out is tread depth. Uh, one way, quick and easy way to see that, uh, not all, but a lot of tires have what they call wear bars on them. Uh, you can see right here where there's a slight raised portion within the tread, right there next to my finger. Uh, when the tread wears down to close to that point, uh, that's, that's an indication that it is time for new tires. Uh, if you are all the way down where that wear bar is completely flush, uh, you're pretty much beyond the point where you should already have some new tires. One less obvious thing that you may not see just at a quick glance with a tire is uh, what's known as cupping or scalloping. Now a good way to feel that to, to see this is to actually run your tire across, your hand across the tire. Uh, you may notice here that some tread blocks are up higher than others right adjacent to it. Uh, this often is a result of just hard cornering, really using the tires for what they're intended for. It, can, uh, when you are in corners leaning, you can result in vibration or chattering. Uh, that's an, another uh, reason to change out your tires if they do have that cupping or scalloping. Here in this area, Illinois, we've got a lot of flat, straight roads. So you may be riding your motorcycle in a straight line more than you'd like to. This can result in more uneven wear where you get the center of the tire worn almost smooth so it becomes a flat spot. Now you may still have some tread left on that, but that does cause issues when you do corner, as soon as you get to over that lean over part, it may lean in suddenly, causing the loss of handling, not as well of handling. Uh, this one is pretty flat. Uh, it, it will pretty much uh, stand on its own. Now, another common issue that we can see on older tires is dry rot or cracking or checking. Now, this is a pretty extreme example here, but you can see it's got a lot of cracks within the tread of the, the tire. Also in, in the tread itself, some tires also you'll find it along the sidewall. That happens a lot from being exposed to weather and uh, just in the sun can dry out the tires. So uh, you may be looking at this one wondering, well, what's wrong with that tire? It's got plenty of tread. I don't feel any cupping or scalloping. I don't see any dry rod on it. Uh, well, age can be a factor in motorcycle tires as well, much more than car tires. Uh, many manufacturers suggest about five years as an age limit. What happens when tires get older is the rubber oxidizes, it becomes harder, doesn't get as good a grip on the road as it would when new. Now this one, for example, has uh, all tires will have this date code. It's a four digit code next to the DOT code to the right of it. You can see this one says 4807. That means this tire was manufactured in the 48th week of 2007. Uh, definitely uh, needs, needed to be replaced. Uh, there's a little bit of discussion on how old a tire can be. A lot of people use five years as a cutoff. If you're going more than 10 years, it definitely, definitely needs to be replaced. Thanks for watching. If you're in need of new tires, give our parts department a call 847-356-3000 so we can make sure we've got your specific tires for your machine in stock. Due to continuing supply chain issues, we may need to order or we may have them here for you. We'll get those tires installed here at our service department for you and we'll get you out on the road.